Hello everybody and welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, as I'm sure you can all tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you all my school makeup routine. So I've not done a makeup video on my YouTube channel in so, so long, but I thought today I would show you my school makeup routine. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first thing that I do is my brows. I don't like to do too much to my eyebrows for school because I don't want them to look too different. So the first thing that I do is grab my Pears Soap. I really like this, it's just from Savers. So I just grab this. Then I, just, uh, then I just grab my Mario Badescu Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea Spray um, just because it's the one that I kind of use the least so I just grab this and then I just spray this once or twice then I just get this little old number 7 eyebrow brush <laughs> I'm really sorry guys I've got the hiccups so if I keep hiccuping I'm very very sorry and I just, I just scrape at the tiniest bit on the end of my brush and all I do is literally just push my brows up just to kind of spike them up a bit I do actually need to pluck my eyebrows and they're getting kind of bad, but it's fine. I then just do the exact same on the other side. So then what I do is I kind of just grab my finger and just kind of like push them up with my finger because, I, because sometimes even with the soap, they do come down. So I just push them up with my finger. And then I just grab the Spectrum A24 brush and also my Revolution Focus and Fix Eyebrow Shaping Kit. The label has came off. But I just grab this and then mix together the light brown shade and the dark brown shade. And then just kind of fill in any of the blank spots. I don't completely fill in my brows. I just do them very naturally and just fill in any kind of like bald patches of my brows. So like I said, I literally, I don't change the shape or anything. I literally just... I literally just fill in the bald patches. So that literally took me about 20 seconds and that is all I do for the colour. So then I just grab the collection Colour Lash Clear Mascara and I just set my brows into place because I find the I find the soap doesn't always do that. So <gasps> I'm so sorry I've got hiccups but I just push them up like this. So they're so they're super spiky. And then I just go along the top and then the side just to kind of like push them down a little bit. Because I still want them to be fluffy but not like wild. So I just kind of put them in their place a little bit. I really love my brows like this because as you can see they're still super super natural. And you can barely tell I've done anything to them. But they just kind of make them look a little bit better than what they would look like before. So I don't always use a primer for school and that's kind of bad. But if I do use one I'll use my NYX Honey Do Me Up. I'm only going to use a tiny bit though because I am actually starting to run out and this is super expensive. It's like £15. So I'm literally just going to do a tiny little bit on my face. I love this primer so much but because it's quite expensive I don't actually use too much of it. As you can see it's just made my skin look nice and dewy so yeah I really like that primer. So my next step is concealer but I wanted to quickly show you this. This is my L'Oreal BB cream. So I have this in case I have a bad skin day where I just want to cover my whole face instead of just concealer. So if I'm having a bad skin day I'll just use this which is the L'Oreal Paris BB Cest Magic um, BB cream. For concealer my go to concealer is my Maybelline Fit Me as you can tell the writing is all rubbing off. I absolutely love this concealer. With this all I do is just put a little bit here and then a little bit there to start off with. And then I'm choosing my sponge from Primark and I kind of just pick it up from there, blend it down a bit and then also, also dab a little bit along the side and then I just blend this all in. If I have a little bit of access on my sponge, I will just kind of go over the top of my eyelid. So once I've done my under eyes, I then just move on to any blemishes. So I currently have so I currently have quite a few spots in the middle of my head here, which is super annoying. So I just kind of put a little bit there. And then I often put some on my nose too, because I often get a couple of spots on the side of my nose. So yeah, again, I'm just going to blend that out. I find with concealer that less is more. It's definitely... It's definitely so much better for me to put less on than more because I just find it looks so much better and it looks more natural. Because if I put more on it just looks really cakey. Now that it's all blended it is time to move on to powder. For powder I recently bought this and I've been using it every day for school since. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte. Mine's in the shade 003 Peach Glow. If you've been watching YouTube for a while you'll have heard like the OGs like Zoella and all those type of people raving about this all the time. I finally picked it up. And I also just use my Spectrum A01 Big Fluffy Brush. So I use this underneath my eyes just to set the concealer and then over the top of my eyelids. 
I then also just put it wherever else I put the concealer, so on my nose and then in the middle of my forehead. I also bring it up to the middle of my forehead a little bit too as well. So just up here. And then I also do a tiny little bit on my chin just to make my chin a bit less shiny because I like to have a dewy base but not too dewy where I look oily. So yeah, um, there we go. It is probably my favourite pressed powder so yeah. So next up is bronzer and for bronzer I like to use my Benefit Hoola Light. But if you want more of a drugstore version because I understand this is quite expensive, I do also love the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is really really nice too. But recently for school I have been using this bronzer because it's very natural but it still gives you a bronzed look. Then I just use one of my Spectrum AO5 brushes. They're exactly the same brushes but I just kind of decide which one and today I think I'm going to go for this one. So all I do is just put it on my cheekbones and then up the side a little bit just because I like to have a bit of a bronze kind of glow for school. I also put a little bit on the sides of my forehead just at the top and then also a little bit down my nose too. I also just use the access from my brush and do it along my jaw to give me a bit of a snatch jaw. So yeah. And voila, that is the bronzer. As you can see, it's very, very natural, but it just gives me a nice bronzed look. I don't generally do blush for school. If I do use blush, I'll use the um, number seven, your limited edition kiss and cheek palette. It's like a, it's a cream blush palette. So I will use this and I normally just use this shade in the middle. I normally just go for that shade in the middle there. But next is highlighter and I actually use two things for my highlighter. So the first thing I'll dip into is this again, the little number seven palette and just the highlight shade. I just kind of pat this along my cheekbones just to give a nice, you can see just a little nice glow. So yeah, that is that. And then I like to put a powder highlighter on top. So depends what I'm feeling, depends what highlighter I'll go for. It will always be one of these three. I think today I'm gonna go for this palette here. I use one of these three brushes, depends how bold of a highlight I want. Today, I think I'm gonna use the brush that goes with the palette. This is the Skinny Dip Glow Girl C5 brush. I think I'm actually just gonna mix these three together. So it's Live in the Highlight Off the Planet and Cosmic Lust. And just kind of mix them together and then do a bit of a highlight this is so gorgeous i had to quickly go take my cake out of the oven but i'm back as you can see that highlight just gives a really gorgeous glow it is so so stunning see i love this one so next up i'm going to curl my eyelashes these are just a pair of primark curlers they're actually kind of dirty so I then go back to the clear mascara because I've got quite light eyelashes I don't like to do like super bold lashes for school so I just go with the collection color lash clear mascara again I just kind of like separate my lashes a little bit with this and that's literally it if you can see that it you can't see too much of a difference so next up is setting spray I like to do this before the end I like to use my makeup obsession matte fix setting spray so I'm just going to spritz this over my face I think the like nozzle on this one's broken because it comes out very squirty instead of fine mist now. So my face is still drying but last, so the last two things are for my lips. So the first thing is my Vaseline. I love this, it's literally my ride or die. It's my favourite lip balm and this is the cocoa butter one. I use this one every day so I'm just going to put a little bit, I'm just going to put a little bit on my lips. This has honestly been the thing that saved my lips because before I used to use this, my lips were always dry. And now that I use this, my lips are literally never dry. So the final thing I'm gonna use is my lip gloss. I love lip gloss, especially for school. So this one is the Gosh Lumi Lips Lip Gloss in the shade 003 ILY. If you can if you can see there, that is the shade. Oh gosh. It's super cool because it's got a mirror on the side and it's also got a light. So you can like see properly your lips because like it like shines on your lips if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to use a little mirror on the side and just pop this on my lips. So that is my makeup look all complete. My little back to school makeup look. I've been doing this every single day for school and I just really like it because it's really natural. And you can't really tell I'm wearing makeup. Let me know if you're going to be using this look for school. Um, but I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for the love on my channel recently. It really means the world to me. If you haven't already, make sure you go in there and subscribe. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye.